Well, Michigan State Police addressing a gun buyback controversy with major changes. Backlash from the community because guns were not being destroyed during the buyback programs. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast explains the changes now in place to keep our streets safer. Well, here at St. David's Episcopal Church in Southfield, they've hosted a number of gun buyback programs over the last few years. And after finding out a few months ago those guns weren't being fully destroyed, they've been waiting for this change to be made. It's kind of disappointing to be duped like that. As a CPL holder and firearm owner, Francois Udier has a number of guns, including some he no longer wanted. So when his Southfield church decided to hold a gun buyback event, he was all in. I brought a couple guns there but a long rifle and a handgun. Udia intended for the guns to be destroyed as the event advertised, but that's not entirely what happened. Doesn't make sense to me, all right? If you're gonna donate a gun for it to be destroyed, it should be destroyed. In December, his church learned the guns turned over to state police from those buybacks are sent to a company that legally destroys them, but keeps parts and sells them in kits. A surprise to the church's pastor. When we first learned that guns that were said to be destroyed were in fact being recycled, we were livid. The very Reverend Chris Yaw is the rector at St. David's Episcopal Church, which has collected hundreds of guns since 2022, including more than 200 at a buyback in December. The reason we take guns here is because people legitimately don't know where to take them. They want them destroyed. They don't want them resold. After pushing state police for changes, the department announced today that those guns they collect from buybacks will be sent to a scrap metal facility in Jackson to be completely destroyed, a move the church is celebrating. We've raised so much awareness on this issue that I think you know, Michigan State Police has changed their thoughts on how they're going to get rid of the guns. This decision helps donors feel a little bit more comfortable that their guns are going to be taken out of circulation. And details are still being worked out, but the next gun buyback program here at St. David's Episcopal Church will be on June 15th. In Southfield, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.